Hello and welcome to another episode of Atlas, where we got our beautiful view as always, and it's about to be night time. <laughs> I didn't check that, but oh well. Uh, so here we are, we've got our nice view, there's our ships, there's Robert's galleon that he built. Um, yeah, um, it's interesting to see a galleon, didn't think anyone would build it. I am curious to see how it turns. <laughs> yeah. Those things are notoriously evil turners. Turners? I don't know. <laughs> Anyway, today, well, today, what have we got to do today? Today, we have to finally build a home for all of these animals because it's just ridiculous that they've been sitting here for like a month and a half or whatever it's been, <laughs> just out in the open. I'm surprised none of them have died. Actually, I think one or two have been killed by a wild animal. I think I Needs Blue had two had, die, had died, and unfortunately... Uh, my monkey, Vinny, had, has passed away as well from a tiger that somehow came from the back here. I don't know how that tiger came from there. <laughs> There's a magic tiger. Yeah, it was Vinny. Uh, poor, poor monkey. But anyway, the last episode we built this pub, and I forgot two very important things. Those things were, one, I forgot to put kegs in. I have fixed that. Thank you to... Dark Master Comet, Comet, Dark Master Comet, <laughs> sorry, I completely butchered that name, but he, he reminded me, or they reminded me that, um, that I didn't put kegs in, and how can you run a bar without kegs, I'm like, stupid me, of course, that was a big, big mistake, and of course, as always, Wendy reminded me that I didn't have a fireplace, so this is the fireplace that we have. I put it in here. I, I would like a big central central one on the floor. I've kind of done that before in a previous pub. There was a mod that had one. However, that realistically speaking, that would mean I would have to put like a chimney going up to the top. And I don't have that mod. So we'll have to make do with this nice little this fireplace, which fits really well here. And I like how I've put it. Like I've put it so it goes back into the wall here. And there's an actual chimney if we go on the other side. Um, the chimney is floating a little bit but you know I just it would look good if it was on a flat surface but it, it is what it is it goes up there we got smoke coming out it actually reaches just to the you can't really tell because of night time there so it reaches just to the edge of the roof there so it's like a perfect fit it's great half inside probably a little bit up the stairs I haven't actually checked but that's fine that's fine it looks good I'm happy with that so Moving on, today we're building, there's an ostrich stuck inside my animals. <laughs> A level 4 ostrich, you have become one with Puntress. Um, Puntress seems pretty chill about it. Okay, so can I actually turn the gamma down just a little bit, there we go, for my eyes. That makes it easier for me. So today I've decided where we want to build our, um, I can't carry all of this can I? Can I carry this much? Can I sneak a little bit more? Yeah, that's probably in my limit. Okay, so I've decided where we're going to build this thing. I've even got like an idea of roughly how I want it to look in my head. Um, that's just going to bug me. Why are you all like that? They must have attacked something. I'm not sure. Uh, anyway, that's just yet another reason why we need a place. I want the storage pen to be up here. Now, it's going to have to be a large storage pen, because I'm going to try to fit pretty much everyone in it. So, let's just get rid of this parsley. Why would you have parsley on this map? There we go. Parsley, go over there, get out of my inventory and disappear forever. Thank you. Parsley. Anyway, so I'm thinking I want it up here. Um, should we start about here? It's going to probably go to... Ooh, I don't know where that quest that hill is. So it's going to be quite a long, a long boy. Uh, that's fine. Let's see, how far can we go? Yeah, I would, would have liked it to have been a little bit higher, actually. Okay, so let's just pick these up there. The AU, AU ones. I've given in, I've folded, I just, I've decided that I'm just going to use the modded stuff. Um, because I, I'm not happy with that. <laughs> If you saw my little, me reading the, um, patch notes, yeah, unfortunately, I am not happy. I am not a happy smoky, 
This pirate is mad and angry at them. I don't know. I'm just trying to ramble while I pick these up. But I probably should just get to the rest of the building. Or skip this. But I'm in a particularly lazy mood today. And just want to get things done. Nice and smoothly. There we go. Thank you. Alright. So let's go from here. How back, far back are we going to go? Let's go like this. Alright. Are you still going to do it? Okay. At some point you're going to have to. Yep. There we go. How wide is that? That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight wide. I feel like eight wide should be long enough. How big is an elephant? I think elephant, well, a giraffe's going to be the tallest, but an elephant will be the longest animal. You're like, what, roughly one, two, three, four, five. Maybe we'll go one more just for just for a good measure. All right, so we're going to be that, that big. Yeah, that, that seems fine. Um... Okay, like that. Now, how long are we going to make this thing again? Alrighty, so probably going to go. Let's have a look. To fit all the animals in here, probably about that big, roughly. I think that'll be right. All right. So, how, how many have we got? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 14, even amount of things. I think I need it to be even for this, plant, this build. Yeah, so it's going to be about that big, our storage pen for all these animals. I think that should be big enough, what do you guys reckon? I don't know, maybe not. <laughs> It'll be big enough, it'll have to be big enough. I'll fit them all in, I'll force it to be big enough. Um, okay, you're going to have to go like that, little tree, you can stay, I can't be bothered moving you. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly disappear, and I'm going to uh, just place all of this down. I'll probably also... Uh, put the seal, uh, place all these down and fill that part up here or the floor up with uh, what do you call the thing ceilings, you know, the flat floors. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna do that. So I'll see you guys in a sec. Oh, pen, farm, no, not farm pen, yeah, animal pen at the animal house, whatever you want to call it. Isn't that a TV show? Um, anyway, yeah, I've done a little bit of work on it, uh, as you can see, it, it, it's pretty big. I kind of just was chatting to mates and just kind of built it as it is. Nothing really exciting. I mean, it's just a huge giant shed at the moment. So I figured, you know, I'm not, not going to waste your time with that. But here we are. Here's our design. Get our nice little shed. Uh, whatever you want to call it. Farm. Barn. Barn. That's the word. It's a barn. Um, so I've got the animals in here. Some of them. Just so I could line up the bays and see what I think. And I'm, I'm kind of happy with it. Um, I did discover something, a nice little tip, I might as well tell you. If you disable ally looking, you know, the thing where this bear is following me everywhere I go, it makes it so you can actually get these animals a lot closer to each other, because their head isn't turning into the hitbox. I mean, so that is a good thing. Because I disabled ally looking on the tigers here, I was able to, like, kind of pack them in. I could even, watch, did I, I did do that one. See, without, with ally looking... Oh, you are overweight because I'm holding things. Um, hey, can you hold these? Thanks. Um, disabled ally looking right with this guy. I am able to just kind of get him in real close to the um, to the guy. Like, say, look, basically get him right on top of each other. And look how much room you can save by doing that. Just makes it so much easier. Can I just actually move you closer to the wall a little bit? Not because. Uh, not for any real particular reason other than I need as much room between the tigers and my next bit of building. Alright, let's do that. Like, I could actually fit a whole other tiger in here. I wonder, can we actually fit a whole other tiger in there? Let's have a look. Alright, so we move like this. Move a little bit more to the right, to the left. And we back up. Beep, beep, beep. Look at that. Kind of fits. Just ever so... The game is not entirely happy about what I'm trying to do here, but there we go. We fit. And now we're stuck behind. Nope, okay. We, the game forced us out. There we go. So we got all our tigers nice and neatly like that. Now, which one was it you? No. Who did I tell to hold my wars? Hey, who has my wall? You? No? You. I'm watching you. I've got my eye on you. you got 31 levels. Wow. Um guess that will go into health. 
Get off these immediately. Yeah. Turbo the health up. That's ridiculous. Level 97 Tiger. Alright, <laughs> moving on. So, disable ally looking. Met lets you shove your dinos in nice and neatly. Stick him in there like sardines. Okay, so. Our animal pen. How am I going to do this? Now, I'm thinking these pens are going to be too wide here. We're going to have a... Do I have the thing that I need? I don't have the thing that I need. Of course not. I forgot an essential component to the build. Okay, I've got what I needed. It was roofs. Alright, so what I'm thinking is, because I've got more animals than I have room. I suppose I could actually squish all the tigers in here now. One, two, three, but no, no. So I've got like... See, I've got more tigers than I have room, and I can't really place more in here, otherwise I won't be able to move these big boys around. So, and same with the bears. What I'm thinking is... I don't want to do that. I want to do that. Okay. I'm thinking what we might do is we'll just make... Like, a, just a quick little second layer. I didn't bring ceilings. <laughs> well, you get what I'm doing. So I'm going to put, like, a ceiling up here. That way I can fit, like, another... Hmm, maybe what we'll do is we'll kind of come out and make, like, a sort of, like, an L shape up here. So we can fit, like, another... Put them in a line. So, like, three bears, I'd assume. How many could we fit in here? It took three and a half planks to fit three bears so you could probably fit another two bears or so up there maybe three if we get lucky and what we got one two three and a half of these so get another four tigers up there i think that'll look good if i can get this to go like that and then of course we need a little bit more ceiling space there so that's my plan for that um what i might do with this spot here is i think that this is um, this is going to be where i'll hide the feeding troughs and stuff so we just get those out of the way and then over here just so that we can separate these bays up what we might do is we might go old school half wall uh, let's go like this we we'll go three and then i'll go railings like i don't know where that railing just went oh there it is it's in it's in there <laughs> why game and you just broke it yeah. Okay, put that there, put that there, maybe we'll go like that, and then another half wall. Oh, for crying out loud. <sighs> game, 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 game. Alright, there we go. What do we think? We think that'd be a nice little, nice little sectioning off there. Maybe we can also, let's do... Let's do half gun ports. This is, oh, for crying out loud, I hate this game sometimes. Why did you do that? Why? You weren't even blue there. You were blue up here. No, up there. Thank you. Just wanted to add some like little decorative pieces for crying out loud. Yeah, I think we can do that. I don't know, <laughs> it looks a bit weird, but I'm just trying to differ, I'm just trying to mix things up a little. Try, trying to keep it a bit different because I don't know, you, there's only so often you can build the exact same design over and over and over again. Alright, let's go here. One, two, three. Though, to be honest, I don't think I've ever... Uh, yeah, I guess I have at some point built a barn like this. Okay, so how are we going to do you guys? I think with these two, I just decided to make it so they just share the pen. Like, you, you guys are going to have to share. I'm sorry. Now, I don't want to bring this out any further than here because I'm going to need a bit of room to maneuver these guys around because there's not much. So we go like that. There should be plenty to get these elephants in and out. Yeah. Okay, that worked pretty well. Okay, let's just do a little quick spin on the spot. Let's go back in here. Yeah. Then can we do a little spin on the spot here and reverse up a little. Okay, I mean it's not perfect. I wish I kind of made it one longer at the back, but I tell you what, I'm not pulling the whole walls down to just make it one longer. Um, I can't be bothered. I'm particularly lazy today. I, especially today, actually, I really have a craving to go back and play Valheim. I'm having a real a good time playing that. So yeah, I ain't gonna spend two hours, to, an hour tearing all this down to rebuild it. 
I'm sorry. I'm not gonna do it. Not gonna do it! Atlas, you've annoyed me a lot lately, so... <laughs> you and your silly developers with your silly ideas. Alright, now... Because safety is important in Smokey's Pirate Empire, we're gonna have to chuck some railings up here. And then... Hmm... I don't know, how are we gonna do this? I have to go grab some ceilings. Alrighty, I got some ceilings. So, let's have a look. There's, what can we do with these? Why did you do that? You were facing... <laughs> this is Smokey's frustration song. Alright, okay. Uh, let's see, is this... Should have done it on this side first, actually. So, I was trying to see... Can I get the elephant out if I do something like that? Is that going to interfere with my ability to... No, the elephant has a pretty good turning radius. Yeah, well, let's try again. Let's just... I want to make sure this all works well before I commit to it. So we come in. I like that there was a little gap there. To... And then we can just, you know, face plant him in there. You turn him around. Yeah, that works. I mean, there's a little bit of clipping going on, but I think I'm making pretty efficient use of the space. Probably not. Probably will think I'm insane. <laughs> I'm only insane if I say so. I don't know what the hell that was. I apologize. Um, go like that. I think that'll look good. Like so. Now, unfortunately, I wish there was pillars that would snap to the corners. Mm. Can I make a pillar? I need this is none of the buttons that I want to press right now okay I'm pressing none of the right buttons tab and then G so I can see what I need uh, we need fiber thatch and wood jeez okay you want just everything do you all right well here's some that uh, fiber and let me just whack this tree twice once like that and then once like that there we go all right let's see just trying to I'm just curious will this one no see it's just gonna snap to the middle which I kind of understand why they did that but I really wish I could at least start snap it to this corner bit here I reckon that would be cool just having a single little wall like that but you know the could or wooded wishes it's Atlas I'm not never gonna get what I want but yeah there we go that's gonna be our basic design then I want to do something out front here I'm not too sure. Mm, maybe a statue or something um, just next to these door pieces. I'm, I'm just... Yeah, like if I could stick like a statue here. Just a small statue of something. Just to give it a bit more... Something. At the moment it just looks like a giant barn squared box thing. <laughs> Rectangle box. Alright, so give me a minute to figure all that out. Um, also, stop raining on me. And I've got to finish all this for you, and we'll have a look at what the finished final product is, I guess. Yeah, sounds like a plan. My plan. Good plan. Smokey makes good best plans. Alrighty, I have finished building the thing. Unfortunately, I apparently don't have um, the mod that has the statues on it. Um, how am I supposed to ride you? I don't want to milk you. I want to ride you. Yeah. <laughs> Riding a cow. I've never done this in Atlas before. I've never ridden a cow. They're quick buggers, aren't they? Look at them go. Can you? Are you a harvesting animal? Oh my god, you are harvesting. <laughs> Do you have another action? No. X and C, you're not doing anything. Uh, yeah. So, unfortunately, I don't have the mod for um, statues. I don't know. I'm not, I haven't put it on the server. I'm not going to go put it on the server. I can't be bothered. Um, I run the risk of breaking things if I do that every now and then. So, I don't want to break the server. So here we go. This is our finished product. I did end up putting this little AS converter thing. Um, I think it looks kind of cool. It's a good little design. I like it. So I just chucked that at the front to give it the up front part. A bit of decoration. And then in here, you know, haven't really done too much. We've just got all of this area here. Um, nice and secure. I'm not going to be able to back you in because I didn't turn off ally looking. I suppose this is a good moment to show you. Look can't get in bam hop off go around go to you go behavior disable ally looking and we'll tell robert to do this poop there's an option to tell you to poop 
Um, no, I don't want to tell you to poop. Poop. Good man. <laughs> That's weird. All right. And then look, now I can back it in. Look at that. Uh, kind of back it in. I don't know. There we go. Line you up. Now how the hell am I going to get out of this? I don't know. Just, nope. Okay, right. Um, let me out. Nope. Smokey does not agree. Yeah, sometimes you get a little bit stuck between the animals. It's fine. It's fine. Shush, Mustafa. Just because you a cow and you can moo, doesn't mean I want to hear you moo right now. Right, let's just do this. Can I get through? Can I squeeze through? There we go. Perfect. <laughs> Nothing to see here. Yes, yeah, so I put this in here. I was actually just thinking as I started recording, I might actually go ahead and put some of those planter things in. Um, these guys here that are hanging. So you might chuck those in here. Just give it a little bit of life on the inside. I don't know. I just I kind of feel like the, those buildings are kind of bland. Um, what was it under? Was it? It wasn't any of these, was it? It was like a. There was a thing in here. Where are you? I'm probably going. There you are. What do I need? Alloy? Really? Alloy? You need alloy? Uh, I don't know if I want to make you now. I don't even know if I have any alloy left. Have you got alloy on you? You got yeah, you got some. Can't believe I'm gonna use alloy to make this stupid planter. Um, you know what? Here, give you. I don't want thirteen. Give me four. Four will do, I think. Just I need something to liven up that place. It's depressing. All right, you'll be here. Four. Uh, so you got the little standy one. Oh, R makes you run even more. I've played this game my whole life. I have always just pressed shift to run. Apparently if you press R, it's like a turbo run? Or is it just because I'm in combat mode? I don't know, just... Meh, maybe it's not quicker. It just kind of changes the view a little. That's weird. Never mind. <laughs> Alright, so I'm thinking... Here, let's go with the wall hanging one. Can I just kind of... Have it like... Off here? Just a little? No, I like it. I kind of like that. Yeah. Camp place. No ground or snap point. Um, I beg to differ. There we go. Tell me what I can and cannot do. Yeah, that kind of looks cool. I can live with that. That 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 works for me. Um, how do we do it again? Uh, it's got to be on like that wood railing, does it? Is that what it's actually snapping to? I think it is. Like that. There we go. Nice little planter in there, gives it some sort of life. And should we do one, one of these ones on the inside? I know these are really meant for outside, but eh. I do like these. I actually do like this. Never even knew it existed until we built the pub. Look at that. Yeah, it just, that, that makes it look a little bit better. A little bit more lively in here. I did uh, end up slapping down the trough down here, like I said. But yeah, there we go. After a month and a half, you guys are finally safe and secure in your own little waiting, holding bay type places. You happy? You all happy now? You happy? Yeah? What about you, giraffe head? Happy Harold? Yeah, you happy? Yeah, that's this happy shake. But yeah, that's going to be it for this episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed it at least a little bit. Um, finally got a nice little barn for these guys. They're nice and secure. There's poop hanging out the window. We won't out the wall <laughs> let's go this side yeah i hope you enjoyed this little build um i did i'm glad that they got it in there i like my town it's like this little town starting to grow a little bit i've got a few ideas coming out that i want to do in atlas a few builds uh we gotta do some some other things other than building too i've got in mind i've got to find out what the hell robert's doing down there as well but that, that'll be all for next time. So if you enjoyed this episode, don't, guys, don't forget to have a like, comment, subscribe, for all that other fun stuff. And as always, have a good one, and I'll see you all next time. Bye! Alright, now I think I need to replace a whole bunch of things. I do. Yay! Farming!